All right, welcome back. We have got more Unrivaled. Justin, I am so pumped. I'm excited. I don't know. The words can't even describe it. And you're just... Yeah, what's going on, buddy? I'm not happy. Why are you not why are you not happy? Because I waited at Pike's place for a couple hours to catch fish like we said and then you didn't show up. No 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 that is not what I said. I said I want to have fish, like no, eat, consume you said the fish. Go to Pike's place to catch some fish. No, I said I was going to Toby's in Coopville and I was going to take the milk tail ferry real quick and you no, I would just want to have fish. I know why you didn't go. Cuz you don't think you can catch a fish. Yeah. That's it. I can catch a fish, no, you man. Can't. You don't I don't think so. Anyone can catch a fish. No. Justin, I can catch a fish. Okay. <gasps> Welcome to Seattle. We're all cleaned up now. <laughs> I, do, I am still, I'm brushing that. off scales. I, I Like I thought this was a mole, but it's a scale. <laughs> I have to get rid of it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Unrivaled, the largest tabletop tournament We're of back. 2017 board games. Your favorite hosts are back. My name is Tim. I'm His name is, he said it. Taking, uh, taking and the initiative myself. Thank today. you. Thank you for doing it. You've been so proactive, which is so strange for you, considering for the past three hours you've been missing up yeah. until literally 20 minutes ago. We're, we're in Seattle. I don't know if I said that already. So. I think the audience wants to know just really quickly before we dive into the gameplay. You weren't in the studio. No. What uh, we landed last night pretty late. Yes. Uh, the last picture I got from you in direct mm -hmm. message was near the gum wall. Yes. There's a wall of gum here in Seattle, and then you disappeared. You went well, off radar. Can I, you give me like I a got little stuck a glitch? Gum wall. I got stuck on the gum wall for about ten minutes. That's just like uh, you. everyone that I was with kind of left. Then I was walking around. I saw this <laughs> big needle thing. And so I just kind of went up, went on there. They called the Space Needle. Uh, kind of hung out there you, all night. Did you? <laughs> you hung out, I hung on, out the there the whole on the Space Needle. Barely now, made it back here. Were you on the outside or were you on the inside of the of needle? Both. Kind of just checking it out. Kind were of you the... using gum remnants to stick to the needle? Uh, yes. Um, kind of. A, if anybody's seen a Macklemore music video, I was kind of hanging up there like he was. So. <laughs> Essentially what I was doing. I, I feel like that's illegal, but I love it. I trust it. It, it seems like every city we're in, you you uh, hey, befriend the, hey, you're another the good famous guy, person. You're the good guy. I'm the one I, that has to get some trouble. I go straight to the West and <laughs> and, and collapse. Uh, wow. So we've got a, an incredible week. We had a really fun week last yes, we week did. in San Francisco. Why don't we talk a little bit about that? We saw a couple great games. Mm -hmm. First, well, let's tell the audience in case you're just tuning in and you've missed a little bit un of Unrivaled. Uh, we play six incredible board games. Uh, we comment on them. The game players play them. Uh, we've got Munchkin, King of Tokyo, Ascension, Villagers and Villains. Uh, Nevermore ne and Epic Spell Wars. Yes, and um, these anyone who's competing is competing for a chance to go to Las Vegas in our regionals uh, and win some of that prize money, that cold, hard oh, cash. Cash, cash, as my Talking old choir teacher said. Give me that money, give me that money. So last week in San Fran, we saw some great tables. We saw Ascension. We saw yes. Munchkin. We saw essentially we saw the co-creator. That was cool, John. John, John Fiorello. Uh, if I'm saying your last name incorrectly, John, you That's can him. take my I, honor. I know how to say it. Take my yeah. honor. Yeah. Take it all. Um, that was fun though. I mean, anytime we get someone like a guest like that come around it's always a good time that was a good game of ascension. it was a great game of ascension and debbie debbie and him were yeah. battling uh you know just mono a mono Debbie kind of was i'm calling her the monotone killer because she kind of just kept monotone but boom 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 well i'm gonna i'm gonna call john the sepia stingray works for me man works for me <laughs> whatever you want it's, it's, i don't know why it's so many aquatic things here in yeah. seattle um and we saw munchkin nino, nino. with that big victory nino, nino is going to nino job. wherever you are you're going to vegas see in october we will see you at the finals um he used the we we talk about it we've got yeah. a game changer we, segment you'll coming see up game changer you'll see it okay. pay um, attention to it it's very and then important we saw a two-person king of tokyo yes yes uh, an, an epic duel between jesse and brandon 
Um, let's see. Br Jesse ended up prevailing, yes. even though Brandon won the uh, the quarterfinal. Yes. Uh, we operate on a Swiss system here. I don't yeah, know any, any of you game players. It's a pretty big deal. Swiss system. Uh, it's kind of like you know, it's, it's, it's it when same. it comes to gameplay. Uh, if you don't know what it is, look it up. We could talk about it, but uh, we we're not mean, going we're to. Not going There's to. so many details. <laughs> <laughs> so, many <laughs> so many details. But essentially, it's you don't have to compete in a round robin. Uh, it's a great way to keep people involved with the gameplay. You get to play multiple you never know games. If you're going to be in the finals or not. Yeah, you don't know you if you just you're... keep competing, 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 and you find yourself in the finals. You know what? That's a fantastic point. You, for a guy that was out late. Hey, on I the needle. Not, I was thinking. Like, I don't think I, was I can thinking say on about the needle. What I should do today? <laughs> you've been, and I wanted to just com say compete. You've been like brainstorming. Compete. If you're out there and you're listening to us, first of all, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Secondly, uh, you've still got a chance to compete in Unrivaled. All you have to do is show up, right? Isn't that yeah. right, Justin? Did you take this one? Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, uh, Tim from Unrivaled. Who are you? this? It's you, Gary, sitting in uh, in where we are next, Denver. Denver. What do you Wait. want? I could just show up and do the last minute qualifiers and make it to the regionals and maybe go to Vegas? That is correct, sir. All Tell you have to do in. is show up to our way. location. He hung up because he was Gary? too excited. He was Gary. too excited. Dang it. But hey, that's all you need to do. Show up if you're not man. registered. Go into the LMQ last minute qualifiers. Right. Win one of those. You're into the regionals later that day. Mm -hmm. Win the regionals. All expense paid trip to Vegas. All expenses and and that's a good thing. And it's a great thing, not just because your expenses are paid and you could you know do whatever you want, hang out with David Guetta, have, have sure. a blast. You can compete to win ten thousand dollars cash for our first place winner, five thousand dollars for our second place, money money twenty five hundred for our third place, and a grand for our fourth place. So, so a if lot you're out of incentive, that's a lot of incentive. And those first place winners are taking home a geek chic. Table. Oh my those gosh, are, I could sunbathe on those things. Notch. I've, have you oh. felt the wood on those? Oh. On the certain. Oh, have I? Have you slept on the wood on those? Oh, have I? Have Have you sat in the the oh, chair, the I? regal chair? I don't I. know Let why I even ask you. anymore. Let me tell you, I have. <laughs> it's these geek chic tables. Incredible. Again, six great games. Yeah. Uh, we're here. We've got all sorts of fun gameplay coming up to you next. Yes. Uh, what's our first game that we're going to see, Justin? I think we're going to see some King of Tokyo. King of Tokyo. Table. King of Tokyo. It's going to be our championship table. Yeah. So that's for the whole Bazinga. That is for the right? Bazinga. And we actually have some cool prizes we're giving away yeah. if you're staying we'll, tuned. Yeah. Don't give it. I don't want to. We'll touch on it because it's, com it's we'll, coming we'll, up. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll tease it. We'll, we'll, we'll get back yeah, we'll to it. We'll tease it. Keep, is that, this is like ass. me on the sound. Just re teasing that. Teasing that trout, <laughs> teasing that salmon. Okay, we're th enough, enough still of teasing. The, enough we're still the teasing. Salmon. Sorry, we're sticky. All right, let's go right over to that King of Tokyo game. Here we go. We are excited. Oh, we're gonna go to. We're not quite ready. We're, they're, they're yeah, I know you're so excited I'm, to do this all the time, but we're gonna we're gonna slow our way into it with some esports now. I think we're gonna I, go esports now. I have to show my cool. <laughs> esports okay. break. Here we go. Hey everyone, I'm Cam with Uber TV, and here's your quick esports now update. After an early leak with the Hearthstone expansion, the Blizzard marketing team has been going hard. Last week, they released a video of the villain of the expansion, the Lich King, applying to work on the Hearthstone team and an announcement of a new esports team called the Frozen Pump. Now, since the Lich King did not get the job at Blizzard, it looks like he'll be starting his own ice cream shop during its San Diego Comic Con. Between July 20th and the 23rd, you can visit the Ice Cream Citadel and get a frozen cone. With flavors like Villanilla and Scourge Berry Sorbet, what could possibly go wrong? It's located at the Petco Park Interactive Zone. Have a cone for us here at Umba. This morning, player unknown battlegrounds showed why their fan base loves them. Blue Hole, the developers behind PUBG, created a straw poll asking their players what they thought the redesign the UI should look like in terms of consumable items like grenades or energy drinks. They were given two options, to have the ability to see how many consumable items and grenades they have without opening their inventory, or to keep it as it is and open the inventory to see the quantity. As of this update, keeping it as it is was winning with 67% of the vote. Developers working together with their players is always a great sign, especially when a game is still in beta. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Subscribe to us on YouTube for all of your latest in esports news. Also, be sure to check out our Unrivaled Tournament series, which hosts its fourth regional this Saturday in Seattle. You can still register in person on the day of the event. For more information, just head over to Unrivaled.com. I'm Cam with Umba TV. Until next time, challenge everyone.
I'm Quinn with Umba TV, and here is your quick eSports Now update. Major League Baseball is not too happy with the logo the Overwatch League chose. The MLB has asked to extend their chance to file a lawsuit against Blizzard for the Overwatch League logo. Although similar in style, the MLB should have larger complaints with the logos of Major League Gaming and the NBA. The Overwatch League logo has different colors, different text font, and size. There is also a full body silhouette of the character Tracer, not the upper body of a man with a baseball bat. If the MLB is looking to sue for infringement, they should look to Major League Gaming's old logo. They use the same colors and similar text. Blizzard does not have too much to worry about as the similarities end at style and the image also happens to be a horizontal. If it was vertical, the NBA might have to sue. TBS is launching a brand new miniseries to get fans prepared for the International Dota 2 Championship. The show is titled E-League, Road to the International Dota 2 Championships. It will run every Friday from August 4th to August 25th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It will feature some of Dota 2's top names such as Jimmy Demon Ho and narration by popular Twitch caster Toby Tobywan Dawson. The show will not be available on Twitch or YouTube, but will be free on the Watch TBS app for both iOS and Android. Okay, that's all we have for you today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest in esports news. Also, be sure to check out our Unrivaled Tournament series, which hosts its fourth regional this Saturday in Seattle. You can still register in person on the day of the event. For more information, just head over to unrivaled.com. I'm Quinn with Umba TV. Until next time, challenge everyone. Start your dexterous fingers and hands. Cause now we're back to King of Tokyo. I know you wanted to jump so quick into there. It's okay, though. We're, I'm sorry. We're fine I'm sorry. That. My excitement cannot be held back. Okay. Okay. This is our championship table, so it's going to be exciting. This person, whoever they are, is going to Vegas, and we've got an alienoid, a cyber kitty, meow, and a space penguin out there. A couple great cards in the center. For those of you that don't understand King of Tokyo, uh, J-Man, you want to give them a quick, quick synopsis of how it works. Oh, you're asking me how to do it? Y yeah, that's what I meant when I said, how do you... What did you think I was saying I when I, I said, how do you do... So as you see there, rolling the dice, you can have numbers, one, two, or three. But yep. you have to get a three of a kind to get the number or get okay. points. So you get three threes, you get three points. That Got it. That's your victory points. You get 20 victory points, you win the game. Okay, so you can win via collecting victory points, yes. 20, but isn't there another way to win King of Tokyo as well? By being the last person standing, the last person alive, being the King of Tokyo! Oh, I love when you get oh, okay. violent with your voice <laughs> this early. Uh, and King of Tokyo or Monster of Tokyo, we've got a, I like to call them our Kaiju, our Kaijin. Sorry, our Kaijin. Let's meet our players. We've got a Josh. Josh representing that black shirt, team black shirt. Yeah, we've got Grunge in our yellow shirt. Grunge. Ooh, I like that name. That's so Seattle. And Crystal sporting a nice July Seattle dress. I love it. Let's keep it floral. And there we go. There's that roll. And so, so those little lightning bolts, that doesn't mean you've just shocked your friends. What's it mean? That means you get the, the gelatinous, gelatinous cube of joy. They allow you to buy cards, and each card has a certain have certain health um, Like for instance, in front of children, when you gain any uh, energy, you gain an extra energy. Um, uh, but like you see there. So somebody already collected a lot of power. So those gelatinous cubes of joy are, are going to make us happy because they're basically our buying power. That's our monopoly money, right? <laughs> in those, those green little cubes. You collect those, you can buy those cards in the center. We've got a couple fun cards in the center out there. Can we identify which we ones are out there? Oh, friend of a children. Uh, and he's a, he's a fluffy little bear. Crystal making the first bold move by staying in Tokyo. If you stay in Tokyo, we'll pull cool around. Two more? How many points do you get? You get two victory points when, it, when the round finishes and it comes back to you. Yes. Now, whenever you take damage, you can... Uh, Yield Tokyo, if you will, which means the other monster who damaged you comes in. Yes. Right, so that's how you get in and out of Tokyo. That's how you take the subway, take the airplane mm -hmm. to Tokyo. Hey, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> I, um, I believe it. Okay. I love this board. It's just the, the game design published by Yellow. Uh, I hope, hopefully, I said that correctly. Nice. Alienoid, dealing some damage. And what's he picking up? 
When you gain any, sure. I'll take. Mm. Mm. Uh, the, the debate of the cards. Yeah. Which cards are going to help me out? I like this one. I'll take oh. this one. Oh. Okay. Torbjord is going to be healing range. You can use your heart dice to heal other players, and they must pay. I like herbivore. I like herbivore. <laughs> oh, good. So that's that's powerful. The alienoid strikes with crystal. Big purchase of the herbivore. <laughs> Ooh, and I see a healing ray out there that's been on the table. Just a blast from my tummy. A blast of a blast of healing from my tummy. Could you heal anyone from from your tummy, Justin? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Why not? Uh, I do want to stop without it. I want to hear it, but not now. You heal me with your eyes. <laughs> Did you hiccup? Was that a hiccup? Whoa. Ooh, rolling those dice. You see those hearts in the center. So again, on our dice, you've got numbers, you've got hearts. Those hearts mean you can heal. Yes, but you cannot heal in tokens. Why not? Hey, I don't make I, the rules. I just play by them. You don't, don't yell I want to heal in Tokyo. Don't yell at me. But you can't. You can't. That's what we're trying to say. Okay. Three points. Grunge is not him. Three points right there. That is Josh, J Man, the J Man. Do you have a Do you have a horse in this ship race? I will stay in Tokyo. Um, yeah, we're just for you viewers. We're not allowed to. Uh, I mean, we can we can, but we we try to be equal opportunity unbiased. That was the word. <laughs> That's huge. In a three-person game, it's a little easier to stay in Tokyo, right? Right. Oh, that's right. It's all it's nope. just a race to Let's finish. get through a part of the world so you have to reroll afterwards. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, there are those smashes. That's the other part of the paw. Di the paw. Can you do the Is sound effect so we reroll these? Just one more time for yeah. my own. That makes me so excited. Uh, those so smashes are how you deal damage in Tokyo. One attack I get. One more. So one more. Yeah. So one more it'll be six, right? No. So it'll be one, two, three plus one. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, if you roll at least one. Okay. So everybody takes four attacks. And the herbivore is going to help with those, oh, those smashes? No, I do not. I love uh, CJ. Uh -huh. Greatest Twitter account on Twitter. <laughs> CJ the Judge. And another one. Okay. You take four. Sorry. There it is. So she's going to collect right. some energy. And here we go. Grunge man, yeah, Nirvana. Have, uh, I like that we have a good shot of his phone out there. Yeah. It's important when you're grungy to show your cracked phone. Are you really Jimmy cracked phone, crack and I don't care. No, you're not grungy. You're not grungy. Well, you know, people. Well, more you know. Oh, a powerful deuces roll. Oh, deuces are wild. <laughs> oh. That's that's big. So how many points does he pick up so that people out there know? So he has a three two, so gives him two, and each extra two is another point. He's going to end up with four points. Does he have a two two? Uh, does not have a two two. <laughs> uh, waving hi to mom. I see you, Grunge. I love Grunge. Hi, Miss Grunge. Good to see you. Miss Grunge. Hello, all Grunge family. That's big. So Space Penguin may be going the VP route. Again, two ways to win, victory points or kill all the other monsters. And your dice don't resolve till your last roll. You get three rolls, just like yes. Yahtzee. Yes. But Correct? if you I've never like played. your second roll, so you can, even your you can stop. Rolls, you can stop and resolve it right there. So if, say, you, you two throw hubs, three, 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 three and three powers, powers. and you're like, I said, stop. That's me. Hey, what's that sound? Those are the dice going down. Yeah, I know. We no. both did two songs, by the way. Yeah. Mine, was from, mine was from 69, and yours was from... 50. No, yours is from 63. Uh, if you're on Twitch and you can look up Stop in the Name of Love and Stop, Hey, What's That Sound? Everyone, look what's going down. I forget the name of that title. Tell us when those were written so we know. Before yeah, we tell them. Dinkle Swerve! Let's talk about our Dinkle Swerve! Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Giveaway. I'm sorry. Dinkle Swerve just. Okay, Dinkle Swerve, give me one second. We, we're on our Twitch. Here's the deal. Just to make it all exciting, we here at Unrivaled, mainly Justin and I, we're very generous. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It doesn't have to be a holiday for us to give away gifts. You like it sometimes. So you've got till the end of King of Tokyo 
Just Hit us up on Twitch. Yes. We want your best okay. monster name. What do you think You're, would be what if you had an expansion pack? You were in charge of no. making the monster. Yeah. Who would it? Who? What would you name him? What would it what be? Would the name be? The name. What? And the name and maybe a brief description of what the yeah. monster is, yeah. if you want. And after the game, we're gonna take a look. Yep. We're gonna kind of talk gonna about it. <laughs> but we'll write down. Survivor style. Imagine. And so the, the winner that we choose that made the bet will get a forty dollars worth of store credit to the game masters in the Goon Hills Mall. And now, and now you're thinking. Wow, that's a big roll. Really that was a big <laughs> roll. Sorry. We're just <laughs> real quick. Three threes. Three twos, that means five VP for grunge. Okay, back to La Laguna Hills. What if I'm sitting at home and I'm like, I, I ain't in Laguna Hills. I'm drifting away in Missouri. You can, you can call them up, go on their website, order. They'll give you... They'll give it to you. $40 store credit in Laguna Hills. Your best good. monster name. Twitch us. Go to Twitch. Please type in Umba. We see a bunch. We have Justin a, and I will we vote. We have a couple good entries Whoa. already. We do. We do. Tweet us at uh, Rival TS, at so Umba, at JKGill3, at mm -hmm. Chick McChicken. Dinkle yeah. Swerve's uh, monster name might be Jesus yeah. Dat Roll. Is that, that, that could be his monster. I don't know. Again, all you have to do, come up with a monster name, Twitch it into us, oh. and we're going to decide which one's yeah. the best one. Yes, please. Yeah, we we've got a couple. We've got a couple great giveaways yeah, coming up yeah. for those of you newbies uh, out there. And we got a lot more later on in this yeah. tournament. So oh yeah, keep, keep get watching. Get ready. Know what you might win on a surprises. Normal Saturday game. Saturday, just watch it. Yeah. Surprises are uh, uh, prevalent yeah. here in the Uba Studios here in Seattle. It still smells like fish, yeah. by the way. Hey. Thank you for throwing a fish at me. Thank you. Thank you. Dingle Swerve, thank you. That was the five twos. I did see that roll. Did you see the roll after where he rolled three threes and three twos? Because that's big. And Dingle Swerve, you better know the rules to King of Tokyo at this point. If you don't... Justin and I are yeah, highly is, uh, disappointed. Media friendly? Highly. Can be by highly. Discord, you get one point. Highly. Thank highly. You also, thank you for watching again. We're going to rely mm -hmm. on you for some research later on. Friend of children out there, rooting for the underdog. And media friendly. Media, media friendly, friendly is fun. Media Anytime media. you buy a card, you get a victory point. Anytime mm -hmm. you buy is one of those cards. Is it? I don't Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that's truthful. Yeah. That is truthful. Wow. Truth slam. Grunging his way to the 14 victory points. She's making a look quick work right here. I'm so upset at myself, but I'm collecting victory points. Uh oh, we've got our first monster name. Uh, Fizzban317 says Grizzlefurt, bringer of Limburger. Yes! Yeah! A Munchkin reference in King of Tokyo. I like it. I like it. That's our first one. So at the moment, uh, Fizzban317 is going to be okay. going to be let's ahead. See. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I got a couple of tweet notifications too. You so. do? You got some tweets? We'll see. I don't. I don't. I still haven't head figured head out head how head it works. Die. Let me I'll see. I'll refresh it. Tim's kind of new to the tweet Twitter kind of thing. Grizzlefurt. I like it. I like Grizzlefurt because it's like a. It's not like a a flatulent thing. Oh, there's some threes on the board. But it's stubbly. Grizzlefurt. Bringer of Limburger. <laughs> I want a small. Oh, that's big. That is big Ooh. right there. Jo J Man taking up. Here comes the J. Here comes the money. Here comes the band aids. Take one damage. Uh, what does extra head do, Justin? Do you know? Can you tell me about it? Why? I want more. Yep. More, I oh, say, said, more. Ah, I want more. <laughs> I want more. Wait, do I get? Yep, you're getting two points. My, what about this card? Oh, is that yeah, counting no. that card? It is not counting the card. So I get three points. Yes, it is your responsibility to remember what your cards do. Oh, real Reptar is back, and he says that is a pretty excellent name, I must say. So thanks, real Reptar. Real great. You're not even going to contribute. You're just going to comment on other people. You've got a chance to take home forty dollars credit. And, and you're not even gonna. Have some great games, you could have just games. said your yeah. own screen name. The game and, at Mall. Yeah, you can take home a copy of King of Tokyo yeah. for that price. Yeah. There's a bunch of Munchkin expansions. Yeah. Munchkin some extent. We could do some ascension. I almost said extensions. I need some extensions. Ooh, um, a lot of smashes okay. for Miss Crystal. Is she gonna stay That's with them? Oh. Yeah, she's gonna need to heal. She Three. Can. 
can't heal until we're taking one more damage. Yeah, Why not? Take one more damage. Yeah. Yeah. She did send out some powerful, what are you? powerful attack right there, saying, Two. I'm a token Two. right now, everybody Four. else. Fifteen. You feel my okay. rat fire. I I loved it and it was very sing songy. Uh, <laughs> give me a name. No. Yeah, no, you get your cybers and your space is correct. I penguin in my kitty all the time. I honestly thought my cat I had for five years was a penguin. Really? For five years. That's one cold kitty. Four, four, what was your cat's name? That's that cannot be. That's a great name for a cat. <laughs> what's, what's your dog's name? Uh, hedgehog. I named my dog Hedgehog. What's your lizard's name? Turkey. Oh, he got some three three points. He's up to seventeen. He's at seventeen. He's at seven. Grunge so is. At this point, are going to have to look to kill him. Grunge is three, po but he's at four health, so yeah. he's, he's living on the he's edge. Back in, he's back into Tokyo, though, right now. Tokyo so four. You can technically lose right here. Right? He could get knocked out, and I think they're probably talking about alliance. Look, yeah, he's smiling. Oh, going for those smashes! Oh, <laughs> you love smashes. I do. I love seeing it. I love seeing it. Mainly, mainly because don't our, our producer. Oh, going don't. I'm going, I'm going no. for the kill. He's going for the kill. Twos? No! What's right? What do you, you don't need a three! What's he doing? This is two points and an energy. What the? Oh, but he's close too. This is all. This is all coming down to the table. Seventeen cyber kitties. Is, this could be it. This could be it. Crystal could be going to Vegas. Uh, she could be going to hang out on the strip. <laughs> Take those twos, Crystal. No. Uh, yes. No. Yes. Oh. yes. 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 No. No. Why are you taking the smash? Ah, uh, she's gonna divert her strategies, and it's not gonna go well. I'm, I'm telling you. This is not what you This is just like the rebellion in Rogue One. No. Well, she gets some help. She was so disappointed with that last help roll. Ex Lord Chelsea X says. What the bleep did he just do? L L L L L L. That's what it sounds like when I'm gurgling mouthwash. No. It is your turn. Okay. Take two victory points. You have one. You have one. What? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, we didn't do our. So as a grunge. I didn't see that. Fourteen. That's it. That's it. That's it. Grunge. The space oh penguin says <laughs> pew 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 pew. Icy blasters. Oh. You should have totally attacked him. Put that you should attack him. Right there. <laughs> What's that? That, that was so quick. Oh, I didn't realize that was he was. So quick. Oh, like, that was so quick. He was a person. Family guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Family guy. Yeah. Family guy. You said it. Uh, wow. Wow. That's we have a, a winner. The game is trying to end. Yeah. Um, we're just talking, Cartoon? hanging around, yeah, and then we looked awesome. literally looked away, trying to see some names. Boom! I was just like, I win. I felt like I had one can of Sprite, and all of a sudden, someone was going to all, Vegas. All of a sudden. Hey, uh, it, that was a quick moving game of King of Tokyo. That was fast. Three that was fast paced. quick it goes. A lot of bounces. There was a lot of victory points there. Uh, there was tons right of VP, away. right? Everyone was going VP. There was no yeah. no one was even killed in that uh, game of King of Tokyo, which yeah. is kind of rare. You usually see a monster get stomped or kapowed to death. Uh, that's, word. by the way, something in case you're watching, uh, Justin and I, as a tribute to Adam West today, will be using all Batman, old Batman uh, sound effects. So right. we've got a list. We're gonna. I looked at Kersploosh is on there. Kersploosh. So we have to find a way to use Kersploosh. Splat. We've got. We didn't even get to use that in King of no. Tokyo. But we do have a winner going to Las yes, Vegas to do. compete for that ten thousand dollars. That's big. Do we also have another winner? Maybe. Because I, I. We I only mean, got one monster. We have to we the have... game ended so quick that we're kind of. You know what we're gonna do? What? We're gonna give you guys a little extra time to put in those names, just because the game of King of Tokyo is okay. so quick. Okay, that's fair. So you have until. When maybe twenty more minutes? How we'll do a this? countdown. When I feel like it. That's I'll not fair. Up. That's not fair up. for those I'll people. Give the heads up. Those are hardworking people out there watching minutes. us. You got twenty, 20 minutes minute left. countdown starting now. Come up with your best King of Tokyo monster name for a forty dollars store oh, credit for then, Laguna Hills. Yeah. You can buy anything online from their store. And also one 
one thing I want to say too. What do you want to say? While you're putting out those team or those those those. What months do you want to say? Just uh, say it. Hashtag Team Justin. Test, Just test, get well, that out of the way. Why? What's that mean? So that people know what that means. So it's a competition between me and Tim. Who's the better? I mean, who's who's more likable host? Obviously, no. It's me. Is it based um, on likeness or is it based on hair product? Well, if we're going hair product, I mean, I do a lot of hair products. Come on, man! Yeah, so. You never even give me a chance in any of this stuff. Never. Hashtag Team Justin or hashtag yeah, Team Tim. Keep putting down your name for your uh, on Twitch. We'll you put it down. Yeah. What do we get if whoever wins and it's decided at the end here? Yeah. Tell them because we play all these games here in the office. What do we get? We're gonna get some cards for some Munchkin. Yeah, and Munchkin in the office in case it gets pretty intense. We throw elbows, uh, we throw knees, we throw knees be gones. Uh, We gouge out eyes. Um, Well, let's cut in the meantime. Let's go check out our winner. Congratulations to Grunge. Here he is. up? I'm Quinn with Umi TV here talking with Grunge, playing for Cafe Mox, who just won the final in King of Tokyo. How are you feeling? Yay! Happy? <laughs> Let's talk about the game just really quickly. Did, was there a point when you knew that you were going to win, or was it all just kind of you were just, just going for it, just seeing what was going to happen? I was rolling dice, and luckily my opponents let me win. Do you think that... <laughs> so there wasn't a lot of strategy. Did you think it was all luck today for you? We were rolling dice and just trying to get lots of victory points, so we all got really lucky. So now you are headed to Las Vegas. What are your plans until you go uh, to the finals in Vegas? I'm going to take a really long nap. Nice. Yay! And uh, go to Card Kingdom, Cafe Mox, and Ballard. Very cool. Uh, what is going to be your strategy for the finals in Las Vegas? I'm going to try to roll dice very well with all the luck that I have. And if you do end up winning the prize, what, uh, what are you going to spend You know, all the money and, and the prizes and everything? What are you going to do with it? There's money. Uh, I'm going to invest it in something good. Very, very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. What, what is your favorite thing about King of Tokyo? What do you love about playing the game? I love rolling dice. and they have really- I've noticed that. I feel like you've said rolling dice maybe once or twice during this interview. Yay! I like rolling dice. There's monsters, cool pictures, and it's a Richard Garfield game. And it's really fun and easy to play. Yay! Everybody loves it. <laughs> very cool. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Awesome. Very nice job. Okay. <laughs>